right, so welcome. I had a request for somebody from somebody to show how to do tip ins in your Bible. So a tip in is basically anytime you add something to your margin to be able to write some more or, um, well that one's in the middle of my Bible, um, or to maybe hide some journaling that you don't want kind of everybody peeking over your shoulder at church to see or something, maybe it's a private prayer. So these are all examples of tip ins. So I'm gonna take this page and I want to do a tip in for this because I want to journal about this, but I wanna do it over here, but I wanna save this space for Isaiah chapter 60 if I decide to do something on this page. So I'm going to do a tip in to add journaling for this page. And the reason why I'm not gonna do the tip in on this page is because I love the way this turned out. I, I'm really quite excited about this page because um, it's really special to me and it turned out better than I thought it would. And so I don't wanna cover it up with a tip in. So I'm gonna show you four different ideas for tip ins. So the first and easiest one is to buy them. <laughs> so Illustrated Faith has a number of them um, that you can already buy pre-made and then you just use them in the margins of your Bible and they're made to fit in the margins, which is kind of fun. So that's one option and they have a bunch of different ones. Another fun option is using found objects or things that you might have laying around the house or things that you um, that you might have picked up over time. So I have this beautiful card um, that I could cut down, a card that a friend gave me, and I could save this beautiful piece here and cut it out and create a tip in out of it. So that's a fun way to use cards. Um, also, um, I have these fun old library cards and uh, I just got them off of eBay, like 50 of them for a few dollars, like three or four dollars. And so these are gonna be some fun tip-ins too. I have added this to the front of my Bible and I'm going to catalog my entries in here um, on the date that I did them and what the theme was. So that'll be kind of fun, but these would make fun tip-ins too. You can also make your own tip-ins. So I'm gonna show you how to do that with this paper. And it'll kind of serve as a double duty um, because I can show you how to write on black paper, which is really fun. Okay, so this is a little too long this way. I'm gonna just chop off a piece of this paper. I'm gonna do about two inches. Two inches there on my cutter. If you don't own one of these, you need one. I've had this for 20 years. Still love it. All right, then I'm going to take my scissors and I want the tip in to start just under the Isaiah part. So it's gonna, and I want it to end right about here. So I'm just gonna cut the bottom off. Now, you can just cut the bottom off and leave it like that, or I'm gonna make a little fishtail end, just so it's a little something fancy. You can do this with any colored paper. You could even do this with a, um, grocery bag, a brown paper grocery bag. You could um, make a whole journal out of brown paper bags or lunch bags. Um, I used to have a whole bunch of white lunch bags and I used to make like little journals out of them, but you can, that's what I'm saying with these found objects, that's I'm calling it found objects, like papers you have around your home. You can totally do anything. You can take like junk mail and use the back of the envelope that's already, um, that's already kind of pretty or not covered in a bunch of writing and you can make a tip in that way too. Okay, so white gel pens. Dun, da, da, da. Ends up giving you kind of a chalkboard look, but look at this, how fun that is. Yeah, 
these are something you could make ahead of time too. You could kind of batch make them. I've been doing that with tabs, just sitting down with my tab punch and um, scraps of paper and punching out a bunch of tabs all at once, which has been kind of fun. Um, and sometimes you just want something kind of mindless to do. And that is fairly mindless, just punching some tabs. <laughs> so you can make your own tippins too, just this way. I'm just adding some emphasis on the corners just for fun. Now this could also become your bookmark if you want to put it all the way at the top. You could take a hole punch, punch a little hole in the top. Or this is kind of a big hole, but we'll punch a hole in the top. And then it's off center, but that's okay. And then you can take my handy dandy jar of ribbon scraps. Um, let's see some fun. Oh, here's a black and white piece. That's kind of fun. So then you can just feed this through here. See, look at all these techniques you're getting all in one little video. How to write on black paper, how to make your own tip in, and how to turn it into your bookmark. So there. So now I'm going to show you how um, you can attach it because that might be kind of a tricky part too. So if you want it at the top of your page, um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you, because I'm gonna use this one. And I don't want the washi tape showing on this side, and I'm gonna use, I'm going to go ahead and use washi tape. Um, I added stickers to this tip in and a crown here, because I have a crown over here. Those are little gold rub-ons. This is really pretty. Let's use this washi. Okay, so there's a couple of places where you could make what I call a washi hinge. So you could either have it tip up, and then you could do writing on here, writing on here, and writing on here. It really, it triples your space. Or you could hinge it out this way. Or if you wanted to be able to write on it easier, you could hinge it this way, which is what exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm gonna put on the back side so that I can write really easily on the back side. I'm going to just put two pieces of washi tape. Whoops, don't stick down yet. And then I'm gonna kind of fold them over and line up where I want this officially to sit. And the nice thing about washi is it's forgiving. It's uh, paper tape and it's Kind of like a really strong sticky note. Most of the time it'll peel right up for you. So, do I cover up the top of the Isaiah or the 61? Oh, I've got an idea. Okay, we're gonna do that. Right up against the edge. Of my Bible, and it's not straight. See how the washi tape keeps letting me mess with it? It's so nice, it plays well. Now we don't have washi tape over the text here or here. We can still read all the text. And right here, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna chop off the corner. Because I really, I'm really attached to this Isaiah 61, so I wanna be able to see the 61. And then if I wanted to make the other corner match so it looks like I did this on purpose, there you go. Now, if you wanted it to tip, if you want it to tip um, up, you just make a washi hinge right here with this kind of um, setup with a ribbon right there. All you'd have to do is take some washi. We could rip it in half. You could use scotch tape for this, masking tape for this, any tape you have, electrical tape, whatever's around the house. I just have plenty of washi. So here, I'll show you this on another page. Let's just flip over to here. And you can just put it down. Oops, you're gonna want the ribbon tucking out the top. Because this is now gonna be your tab and your tip in. Look at that, and it tips up. 
and it will stay in your Bible, and then you've got your cool tab ribbon right there to go. This is actually really fun. These would be really fun to make. Um, and this is exactly why I keep scraps of ribbon, because in a lot of projects, I only need like little pieces. So even if they come on gifts, if a gift I get gets really pretty ribbon, it goes in my little ribbon stash. This ribbon stash, it gets used so much, it's gonna like dwindle down to nothing if I don't add to it pretty soon. But anyway, that's a good tip is that if you get, or if you get some fun like little dollar store finds, um, I stick those in here too. Um, any any ribbon that I've cut off of something else and there's still even even if there's just a couple inches of it left I put it in there because you just never know so that's how you draw on black paper you get a white gel pen I love jelly roll pens they are my favorite gel pens they have glitter ones they have colored ones they uh, have neon ones that look really cool on black paper um, this is just plain old cardstock that I had laying around obviously I had done another project with it recently um, and ribbon I had laying around and washi tape I have and so anyway that's a few ideas for a tip in so now I'm gonna be able to write about this project and I tied it in with the colors so I put some leaf stickers on it from the print and pray shop from illustrated faith I had this crown rub on that I added crown rub on down here that I added and the teal um, and this was actually answered prayer in Isaiah 61. So this is gonna be a really great place to go ahead and write. And I can write a lot and still save this space for this section of scripture. So I hope that makes sense to you. Let me know if you have any questions. Other ways of doing this are just cutting out, um, cutting out uh, different parts and taping them. This one I taped right over the edge of the page. This one um, is just paper clipped in. <laughs> so there's so many ways you can do tip-ins. Um, this is from packaging, from the Illustrated Faith packaging that I just taped in. Um, one taped on the top and one taped on the side. So there you go. There's my best advice for making tip-ins, how to secure them down. Um, you can also put the tape on the outside if the tape's cute and you want it to show. So. Um, I've just shown you a bunch of examples where I happen to hide the tape. Let me see if I, well, not this one. This one I wanted the tape to show. So, anyway, I hope that was helpful and have fun. And um, I'm going to invite you to come to the Modern Mess Princess Club. It's my private, well, it's a closed Facebook group. And I would love to see what Bible art journaling you're doing, or if you want to come over there to hang out and get ideas. We talk life, we do real life, um, and we do uh, Bible art journaling, art journaling, we do challenges. We're about to do the um, challenge, the gratitude documented challenge from Print and Pray. So we're about to start that in the Modern Mess Princess Club. So if you want to check out the club, um, go to bit.ly slash club mess. And I will also leave that in the comments. So we'd love to see you over in the club and see what you're up to. All right, bye for now.